What's going on guys, it's your boy Kenny, you bring us a brand new video. Now today guys, I first do want to say thank you for the amount of support that I've received this past year in 2018. It's already 2019, so happy new year to you guys. Um, I just want to say thank you once again because if you guys did not know, I started out at 130 subs last year on the beginning of 2018. And now, beginning of 2019, I'm at 14,000 subscribers. So we just hit that number just yesterday as well too. So thank you guys so much for the amount of support um, and celebration of that, guys. I'm going to be making a super popular tutorial that you guys all have been each wanting. And that is going to be... Um, color correction tutorial and how I make my color corrections as you can see in the screen right now I got a color correction going here um, this is going to be the color correction we're making today so it's gonna look super super smooth right now you can see here it's a really nice warm color correction this is gonna be a really nice tutorial that will help you guys out um, I'm gonna try to break down everything that I'm gonna be applying on here when it comes to color correction um, it will be hard to keep up though so d disclaimer right off the bat if you guys are new to After Effects it will be hard to follow but if you just follow step by step um, it would be really easy to create this color correction. I'm going to show you guys today how to make. Also, just experiment as well, too. Um, if you're not too sure on how to make color corrections, just see how I make mines and experiment. Mess with the settings. See what you like best. But anyways, let's go straight into the tutorial itself, guys. Um, so the first thing that we're going to be doing here, um, as you can see here, I already have the color correction. So we're going to get rid of these two layers here because we are starting from new. So pretend this is my comp composition here. This is where my edits can be taking place. I already have all the sy beats synced up. It's like my whole edits completed. I just need to create a color correction. Um, so the first things first, guys, what you guys want to do is uh, pretty much go to layer, new adjustment layer. And before I continue with the uh, tutorial, guys, um, I also want you guys to know that I will be using plugins for me to create this color correction. Um, the two plugins that I will be using will be the Sapphire plugins and the BCC plugins that you can get online i'm pretty sure you can find the way of getting them for free online and also i'm gonna be using magic bullet looks so um just keep an eye out for that i'll probably have that as a disclaimer in the comment section so be sure to check out make sure you have those plugins plugged in for your after effects before you continue but yeah first step is we're gonna be using magic bullet looks so i'm gonna rename this uh adjustment layer and put it to looks and i'm gonna search up looks so my my magic bullet looks may look different from yours but just follow step by step and yes should be fine so i dragged it over so I looked it up on the effects and presets, dragged it over to my composition here in my adjustment layer, and I'm gonna click edit, and that's literally it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And so yeah, let's go straight into the first steps, guys. So the first one is going to be shadows and highlights. So you can see here, we got our controls, our tools and stuff like that. I'm gonna click on tools here, and we're gonna go ahead and look for shadows and highlights, which, which it will probably be in the subject area. So uh, let's see your shadows and highlights. So I'm gonna see it here, I'm gonna drag it over put it to the subject area get rid of the tools tab here so my effects pop up here and we're gonna go ahead and put the shadows at 0.7 so I'm gonna double click that 0.7 click OK and that's literally it we're just adding some exposure to it and that's pretty much about it you can see here it got a lot more brighter um, and that's about it with that step okay so just follow step by step I'm gonna try explaining what each little effect I'm adding on here will do to the color correction and just follow along and we'll get this going okay so the next one's gonna be diffusion go ahead go to tools and look for diffusion here so it'll probably be in the mat area so diffusion here you can see it go ahead and drag that over put that on there get rid of the tools tab and go ahead and put the preset to low con if you don't have this preset it's all good um, but I just like using low con as my diffusion setting as a preset um, and go ahead and do the following if you guys would like so for the size of the diffusion here let me double check it's going to be size 50 so double click put 50 um, the grade is going to be at 1.5 so 1.5 and then the softness is going to continue to be at 100 so um, let me see here um, okay and so then the glow is going to be at zero and then the highlights are only going to be at 10 and then the bias the highlight bias is going to be at negative 1.5 and since we're going for a, a nice warm color correction usually blue and like these darker tones over here are cooler color corrections um, while like the red and the orange are really warm so we're gonna go for like an orange type of feel and we're gonna go to about there um, what this is going to do is you can see here already we've added some sort of kind of um, diffusion of orange throughout the whole screen you can see there's no diffusion here and then there's some sort of orange diffusion there so that's all we're doing at that point okay okay so the next step is going to be adding some haze and flare so let's go ahead get rid of the tools area here and go to lens you'll see haze slash flare go ahead and drag that over to the lens tab so now that we got haze slash flare here are going to be the settings you're going to be doing here so the spillage is going to be at 25 so go ahead and double click and put 25 um, the softness is going to be at 100 
and then the exposure is going to be at negative one. It's going to maintain that way. The reach though, it's going to be at 35. So go ahead and put that at 35, double click it as well. And that's about it. So what the haze and slash flare is going to do. So I can see here, we added the, the diffusion here, the flare is going to create that flare type of look. You can see it pop up right there on the right side. So that's all it's really doing at that point. Um, you can see that's already a kind of like a green or orangey type of feel to it already by itself just because of the diffusion that we've done earlier. So it should align to that. If not, just go ahead and put it up there. Um, and that's about it. Next step is going to be adding a lens vignette. So if you don't have this, just simply look up vignette and you'll find a pop up here in your tools tab. Go ahead and drag it over to your lens uh, tab right there. Let's get rid of this. And no presets for the vignette. All we're going to simply do is we're going to go to 33.9 for the vignette. And then the amount is going to simply be at 50 and that's about it. That's all we're going to do. So the vignette, usually um, I like to add a little vignette on here and makes it look super, super smooth. I love having vignette. You can also do some presets if you like, you can do uh, zero it out. So then it brightens up the outside of it. But so yeah, so yeah, vignette, all it does is just add some sort of like dark shadows towards the end of your composition here, like the edges of the screen. Um, so that's usually, that's all it's really doing. Um, the next step is going to be adding a warm slash cool so we can make this look even more warm than it should be. Um, so go to tools and then we should go ahead to the mat or the lens area. I'm not sure where it's at exactly. Oh, it's actually at the camera. So click on the camera. You'll see warm slash cool. Drag that over to the uh, camera area here. Get rid of the tools and do the following as well too. So for the warm slash cool, it's going to be at negative 0.05. And then the tint is going to be negative 0.03. All that's going to do is make it even more warm than it should be. So you can see in the screen here, it's pretty, pretty still. You know, you can just see like all the like the lens flare and stuff like that. This very subtle, like very subtle. You can see it there is playing nice and warm. So um, if you mess with it too much, then you can start seeing your screen kind of change. So I'm going for a darker cool here, green orange yellow and stuff like that so um, mess with the settings if you guys like i like to not mess with them as much when it comes to warm slash cool because there's more effects that we're going to be adding on here when it comes to the color correction so um, keep it simple like that um, so far the color correction is looking okay it looks mediocre at best but it can definitely need some touch up as well too um, especially with the flare going on and stuff like that so let's continue doing what we're doing here and go to the next step which is going to be exposure so go to tools and find exposure here in the tools tab for the camera drag that over put it on there and for the tool and for the exposure all you're going to do is just put 1.1 and click enter so we're adding some a lot more exposure you can see like we just brightened up the whole entire cc don't worry we'll make this look a lot more clean as well too once we're done with this so your cc will not look like this at the end of the day okay besides the fact let's go ahead and do the colorista now so colorista is something that's usually can be found within the magic bullet looks if not it's usually within like the color suit the red giant suit so be sure to have colorista if not look up colorista red giant um download link and you'll find one out there um so let's go ahead we have the colorista colorista however you want to pronounce that and we'll start messing with the midtones, the shadows, the highlights. So for the midtones, we're gonna make that orange type of feel to it back at it again. So let's go ahead and drag it over to maybe about right there is cool with me. Um, the shadows, we're gonna put this a little bit more darker blue around there. So you can see here, like I'm not messing with this too much. I'm just dragging it over. I'm not gonna drag it way over here because then it makes it really, really bright. So we're gonna mess with it until it's it's noticeable, but not too noticeable, you know? The highlights will just remain at white, which will be okay. Um, at this point, you see that you can click on this little icon here. It'll create a whole bunch of other different types of settings here that you can mess with it. Um, go ahead and do the following. So the hue or the hue, you can see here, um, the red, we're gonna double click that and put 57.1, click enter. Um, for this blue icon here, right underneath the light blue one, we're gonna double click that and we're gonna go ahead and put to negative 10.7. And then the one underneath that one, which is like a middle purple here next to that dark blue one, double click that and go ahead and put negative 67.2. And then for the saturation, make sure the zeros are all zeroed out. Um, go up to that dark blue, double click on that one and put negative 40.3. And then for that, one the one right underneath that one which is the second to last double click on that one and put negative 60.2 click enter and that's about it i know it's kind of confusing guys 
don't worry you can mess with these settings like the saturation and stuff like that reds you can see like i'm messing more of the reds it gives it more of a poppy look i can get rid of the reds um but just keep it how it is and we'll make that color creation look really smooth um on top of this that's pretty much it when it comes to colorista there's not much to do about other than that unless you really want to um now what we're going to do is kind of finalize the color correction and make it look a lot more smooth than how it looks right now we're going to add the film prints so let's go ahead go to tools go to post and look for film prints so you can see here it's right here film print go ahead and grab that drag it over add it next to the post and you can see here already it's making the color correction look a lot more smoother than it should have so you can see here's without film print here's film print Film print really makes it look really nice. So make sure your film stock is at Kodak 2383. You can mess with the other ones, the other presets, I guess you can say, but I keep it simple into the normal one. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and start messing with this. So the contrast is going to be negative 20. Saturation will be at 100, so keep that there. The strength is going to be at 100 as well too, um, but the grain will be at zero. So go ahead and click zero. And that's about it. So you can see the film print really makes the color correction look a lot more smooth because without it, it looks kind of cheesy. It doesn't look as good. It looks like someone just made it kind of rushed, which we were kind of doing here, but um, it makes it, it really does make the edit kind of feel professional in a sense. That's the color correction for this part. If you want to end the video here, you could, but I'm going to do a little bit more to make sure this looks a lot more better. So go ahead and click that check mark there. So now this is our layer here so these are cinematic without a color correction and then with a color correction which looks a lot more smoother already um, let's continue making this color correction look a little bit more smoother there's one more few things that we can add on here to really give it that vibe that we want to that warm kind of feel to it um, we're kind of missing glow so we're going to be doing that here okay so go ahead and layer new adjustment layer create a new layer rename it and we're going to put it as film glow so film glow click enter now what we're going to do is use the other preset that I was talking to you about, about, about the BCC. Um, look up Film Glow. As you can see on the right side here, I have a BCC Film Glow OBS. Go ahead and drag that over to your new adjustment layer. And we're gonna be messing with the settings. So you can see there's already some sort of glow when we applied it. We're gonna mess with these settings to make it a lot more smoother. So first thing that we wanna do for the glow threshold is put it to 75%. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the color here to an orange kind of feel to it because that's kind of what the, we're kind of going for here. So click OK, put it to an orange feel. Um, and yeah, let's continue doing it. So the intensity, where is the intensity here? Uh, glow intensity is going to be at 300. So 300, click Enter. The glow radius, I believe, is going to be at 200. Uh, the desaturation is going to be at 8%. Oh, so 8, click Enter. And that's about it. So what that's going to do is you can see in the screen here, this is with, with film glow, and this is without film glow. So film glow, no film glow. You can see it adds kind of a little bit of a glow here that's kind of a orangey type of feel to it as well too, which is pretty nice. Um, one last thing that I do apply on my color corrections is sharpen. So go ahead and type sharpen. Oops, if I can spell right. Um, go ahead and apply sharpen. So grab it, drag it over, or double click on it, doesn't matter. The sharpen amount is going to be 12. Um, look up unsharp mask which is going to be just part of after effects as well to go ahead and drag that over and leave it as it is um, at this point um, the color correction is complete the next step that i would do is to completely completely optional the reason i was saying sapphire plugins you yet you would want to use them is for the s s underscore flicker what this does it kind of creates that like uh, flickering with like white tones so it doesn't look as bad but i'll probably point put it out the amplitude I'll put it at 0.05 so as you guys can see in the screen here you can see a little bit of a flickering there that's what the S flicker is for that's what the sapphire plugins is for it's completely optional um, for me I like to add a little bit of an S flicker on there not too much but this is how your color correction should look like guys hopefully this helped you guys out when it comes to making your color corrections I know that was a big question I kind of got on how I make my color corrections um, that's kind of how I do them honestly at that point if I want to change it up a different type of feel for it I like to keep the film print in there um, I just change up the different types of temperatures different cools different colors and that's about it man I hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully it helped you guys out when it comes to making color corrections um, thank you guys so much for the tremendous support this past year hopefully we can continue to grow for 2019 
And yeah, be sure to leave a like, comment down below if you guys have any questions or DM me on Twitter, which is going to be at Cuddy underscore edits for if you guys have any questions when it comes to how to make a color correction or what each thing means. Um, I tried my best to explain what each little effect I did was for with just the time sake of the tutorial as well too on top of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys need any help. And as always, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, hope you guys have a good day. And I'll see you guys later on my next video, whether it's a tutorial video, edit, or even me live streaming for some reactions. So yeah, hope you guys have a good one. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.